Man, I'm tired of this fucking vape. I'm fucking done with this. I'm done with vaping. I'm just fucking tired of this shit. I'm done with it. Actually, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. I take it back. I take it back. Wait. It still works? It still fucking works? No. No, hold on. There's no way. There's no way this works. Hold on. What the fuck? Got too many problems, I can keep them to myself. Doing all I can to get my people out of hell. What up, motherfuckers? This is Munch, and today we're back with another review of the Aegis Mini. We're gonna get up close with it, talk about it, throw a build on there, and just overall give you a good review about it. So, we're gonna hop right into it. This thing's little, fits in the palm of my hand. Sometimes it's so small I have it in my pocket, and I'm like, where the fuck is my vape? Where's my vape? Oh shit. Oh, there it is, deep in my fucking pocket, because this thing's so small. And normally I use the Snow Wolf 200 watts, and I mean, those things are big, they're like five pounds, so it's like a rock in my pocket, in my hand. And, you know, those are good for at home and stuff, but they're not good to carry around, go places with, and stuff like that, which is why I like this, and why I got this. We're gonna get into the pros and cons. The pro, I think, it's little, fits good in your hand, goes up to 80 watts, which is nice. I really don't even vape over 60, sometimes I don't even go over 70. The material out of it's really good, I love the material, the colors of it. Different color options are good. I just went with all black. I think the black's nice. It's waterproof, undestructible. That's very cool. And overall, it's just a really good vape so far. I've only been vaping on it for a few days, and honestly, it's my go-to now. It's definitely my go-to. Today, what we're going to do, we're going to do an up-close shot of it, show you guys the features of it, um, the screen, and stuff like that. Then we're going to do a little quick wicking tutorial on this Bunker RDA on here. So after wicking it, we're going to go up face to face, talk more about it, and give an overall rating about it. So yeah, hope you guys are excited, and thank you for watching the video. Go ahead and subscribe, and we'll go up close. All right, so now we're gonna get a more up close view of this, talk about it, talk about the pros again, and just give you more of a bigger picture of this thing. So, as I told you before, it's really little fits in the palm of your hand you can hit it like this with your thumb you can hit it with the inner part of your thumb right here no problem oh wrong side over here no problem no problem like I said I'm hitting it on 25 watts as a nice little screen I've seen to think that it's pretty dim but that's all right because I mean I'm not really looking at it a lot it has a coil ohm detection the ampage the voltage and a puff counter on there on the other side over here we got like a little leather part right here with some threading now this part you can choose to get different colors as well as this uh, metal part right here I don't know if you guys can really see that with the edging right here so those are the different color options there's like blue green a camo the all black which I got right here and I think an orange one side we got Geek Vape over here, the other side we got Aegis, Aegis, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know how to pr pronounce that, but this kind of material we have right here is kind of like a rubbery material. Now I thought lint and stuff was going to get caught in that, and no, it actually stays pretty clean. I like that, it has a little bit more grip to it. Uh, don't. One thing I hate about vapes is juice when it leaks and the vapes like all slippery and shit like no It's not like that with this which is pretty nice. I like this leather right here Not sure if it's real or not, but I, I do like that um, You got screws right here on both sides So I think you can take that apart and throw on a different color or I don't know Maybe just get inside of there if you got problems. I don't I don't really know but that's pretty nice down at the bottom We got some like venting holes maybe I'm, I'm not sure it's waterproof so i don't know why there'd be venting holes and then below that we got our usb charge port right here which is pretty deep i don't know if you guys can even see that but it's like that and it comes with an extra one of these little flippy things right here with a screw in case you lose this one or it rips and that goes in there pretty deep to keep it waterproof buttons i like how clicky the buttons are i think i forgot to mention that um 
it does go up to 80 watts so that's basically an overall view of this all right guys so now we're gonna get it in the wicking so let's go ahead and ow fuck we're gonna go ahead and get this uh crustiness off of there that old juice out of there it's a single coil rda which is perfect for this mod and the reason why is because you don't have to use a lot of voltage you don't have to use your battery down, it makes it last longer, and you still get good flavor, and you still get good vape production. Since this coil isn't super fat, I'm just gonna pull off a good piece here. You just gotta know the right medium, I guess I would say, but never go too much. I've always had problems with too much. It, it's just a pain in the ass. So this is probably a perfect amount right here. You see the size of the cotton, you see the size of the coil. What I do is I just, Wet the ends a little bit, twist it to where I can kind of just like slide it on through, no problem. And if it's a bitch to slide it through that first part, you need to just take off some, probably, most likely a bit. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the cotton through about halfway, just check it out, make sure it's all good. Cut it at a good length. I usually cut it to where it's at like the bottom of the RDA. It's like if you see that right there, that's usually where I cut it at. Now we got our cotton in there, nice and smooth. Basically what I do is I thin out the cotton a little bit. This ain't that thick, so I'm not really worried about it. It's just you take them, you run it through the inside of that, just pull out a little bit of cotton from it, you know, make it a little bit more thinner. And that helps with juice getting through the cotton faster, but it doesn't really take it out the middle. So it keeps the middle nice and thick, but it thins it out on the edges. You can just grab it like this and like kind of wrap around and tuck it in. If you know what I mean, like, hold on. Like that. I wasn't even focused, but you know what I mean. So you can just like kind of bend it and wrap it around, tuck it in, and then go back and forth. So yeah, that's basically how I wick right there. Nothing crazy, nothing super hard. Just don't want to use too much cotton. This will last me probably about six, seven hits, maybe 10 since it's only on 25 watts. We're gonna go ahead and drip this with the cookie butter. It's basically an oatmeal cookie dipped in milk and topped with brown sugar, which I thought kind of sounded weird at first, but once I tried it, I was like, okay, not bad, not bad. So I just juice the fuck out of my coils, let them sit there for a second, you know, pulse it, throw a little bit more juice on there, I'll just soak in, pulse it. So it's all juiced up. Now we're gonna go up front real quick, hit it a few times, give a final overall of it, and we'll see how you guys feel. All right, so yeah, very good vape. I love the motherfucker. Nice and small, good for on the go, more for like going to work and stuff. I wouldn't consider it a sit at home type of vape, but I mean, if you like it, you like it. I mean, sometimes I do sit at home and use it if I still got a lot of battery left, and battery lasts Decently long, quick charge, good size. It just fits in your hand very well. Undestructible, which is fucking amazing. And it packs a punch. Good for work and school. Um, not school, kids don't vape. <laughs> quick charge, like I said. And overall, just good vape. I give it a nine out of 10, and that's just because it doesn't take the 18650. I mean, if it took the 18650, I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10. And usually I don't really rock, rock small mods like this, but I'm starting to dig it. Like, I'm starting to really fuck with this. Just keep it in my pocket, you know, it doesn't really bug me, not heavy. Just overall good vape. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. I'll catch you in another one. Maybe another review about this Bunker RDA and the juice, the vape pink juice. So yeah.
you guys have a good day, subscribe to the channel, comment, like, any questions, just let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios, bitch. Got too many problems, I can keep them to myself.